Hey guys, so one of the biggest surprises for the international community was Russia's inability to overcome Ukraine's air force. Military analytics expected the Russian air force, which has a significant number of advantages, to quickly destroy Ukrainian planes and AA systems. But that's not what happened. This is seen in material published by the New York Times. Ukraine currently has almost 200 planes watching over its skies, including about 100 fighters, about 20 attack planes and bombers each, and over a dozen recon planes. You can find these numbers from open sources. But how they correspond to reality is a military secret. Ukraine's air force is made up exclusively of very old Soviet models like the MiG-29, the Su-27, the Su-25, and the Su-24. Each of these planes has its own purpose and goals to accomplish. We will talk about fighters whose main goal is to win air superiority. What is the legendary MiG-29 and Su-27? And what can they do in combat? First up is the MiG-29. It's a Soviet multi-role fourth-gen fighter developed MiG a design bureau in Moscow. Military theoreticians thought that fighters would be located closer to the front lines and should provide local air superiority to advancing parts of the Soviet motorized army. At that time, Soviet generals wanted rapid mobility for their mechanized divisions, which required using damaged or poorly prepared landing strips for their frontline aviation. So, the MiG-29 was made with a durable chassis and protective grates for its air intakes. The plane also should have fulfilled its missions accompanied by attack planes, which would protect the vulnerable planes from NATO fighters like the F-15 and F-16. The MiG-29 on the front lines should have provided Soviet ground forces safe air cover that would move along with them. The first serial modification MiG-29 was used back in 1983. Its cargo weighed 4,400 pounds, and it had a max speed of 1,520 miles per hour. The plane was made using an integral aerodynamic design with low wings, twin vertical tails, and separate engines. The frame was mostly made out of aluminum alloys and steel. Titanium and composite materials were also used. The fighter has six hardpoints for air-to-air -air missiles. The Ukrainian MiG-29MU-1 has undergone significant modifications, including installing a satellite navigation system, which has increased its navigational accuracy and the range of using automatic landing instruments. Thanks to a modern radar station, it can detect air targets 30% further away, up to 62 miles in front of and up to 28 miles behind the plane. It also has advanced R-27 and R-271 missiles with a firing range of 59 miles. The Ukrainian Su-27, now called the Su-271M, has also undergone similar modifications. Like the MiG, the Su was also a multi-role fourth-gen fighter created by the Sukhoi Design Bureau in Moscow in the 1970s. The plane's prototype first took off in 1977, and serial production began in 1984. Officially, the plane began to be used in 1985 and is still in operation today. Moreover, an entire line of modifications is based on this aircraft. In total, there are over a dozen versions of this fighter. The Su-27 is made with an integral aerodynamic design with its wings smoothly connected to the fuselage making one piece. Planes with similar designs, the fuselage doesn't exist in and of itself. Lift is created by both the wings and the aircraft's frame. The plane has six hard points under the wings and two points in the middle of the fuselage to attach weaponry. It's also worth noting the aircraft has amazing flight statistics. So the Su-27 has set several world records its max speed is 1,553 miles per hour. Without a doubt, the Su-27 
is one of the most successful vehicles created by Sukhoi and one of the best fourth-gen fighters in the world. We can also say that it's simply a beautiful plane that amazes with its elegance and its particular grace. Aircraft designers say that only a beautiful plane can fly well, and the Su-27 affirms that rule. We would like to note that Ukraine began to modernize its aircraft in 2014. A group of companies in Ukraine's defense industry were drawn to the project. They began with their plane's electronic systems, including onboard radar, and the MiG-29 and Su-27's optical electric plane detection systems. We know that dozens of planes received these new systems. Now, if you compare them, the MiG is smaller and lighter than the Su, but is also slower and can't fly as far. If you imagine them fighting in the air, then the Su-27 is superior in every way. We've seen in training battles that the Su already gets behind the MiG on the second pass. However, several pilots say the Su can win only in battle conditions with a ton of limits like the angle of attack. No matter what, it really all depends on the pilot skills. A MiG-29 pilot in Ukraine's Air Force shot down a Russian Su-35 plane over Ukraine. A combat video was spread by the Ukraine's Air Force Public Affairs Office on February 25th. Look at the moves from this Ukrainian ace. A Ukrainian MiG-29 shoots down an unrivaled Russian occupier's Su-35, they say in the post. The pilot's name is naturally not mentioned. We don't know who he is, but we know that Ukrainian combat pilots are some of the best in the world. Among them are Ukrainian pilot Yuri Bulavko, who flew excellently on his Su-27 at the Royal International Tattoo 2019 in the UK. He won for best piloting. Ukraine's performance at the show was called the best and most beautiful piloting in a military plane. 24 other European countries were represented in the show, in addition to Bulavko. The competition in the UK has happened every year since 1976. Every year, a new victor is awarded, and the name of the previous winner is written on the cup. This award was won by another Ukrainian back in 1996, whose name was engraved on the reward. Yuri Bulavko owes his victory primarily to his instructor, combat pilot, and colonel, Alexander Osachenko, a multi-winner of this and many other air shows. Pilots from all over are obsessed with him. A Ukrainian who became the world's best fighter pilot. He has over 2,000 flight hours and triumphs at the SIAF, the Royal International Air Tattoo, International Air Show 2017, and the Czech International Air Fest. The whole world knows his signature and fancy flying style. One of the best fighter pilots in the world, Colonel Alexander Osachenko died on February 28, 2022, in a dogfight after drawing enemy attention. Every dogfight with Russian jets is imbalanced. There are always five times as many of them, said Andrei, a 25-year-old Ukrainian Su-27 pilot. His last name and call sign are classified. Andre says he shot down Russian planes but can't say what kind or how many. His fighter's aiming system lets him hit enemy planes several dozen miles away. Now, overall, these clashes between pilots in the sky are quite rare for modern wars. For example, American pilots almost never took part in dogfights during the Persian Gulf War in 1991. There have only been a few times since then. Ten planes were shot down in the Balkan Wars and one plane in Syria, said the general air campaign planner of Desert Storm in Iraq, Dave Deptula. It's a completely different situation, however, in Ukraine. As of April 5, 2022, according to Ukraine's Air Force generals, the Russian army has lost 150 planes and 134 helicopters. Ukraine's Air Force is working in almost absolute secrecy. 
Analytics suppose that the planes are taking off in western Ukraine from bombed airports that still have sufficient space for landing strips, or even from highways. According to estimates by the New York Times, Russian aircraft complete about 200 flights a day, compared to Ukraine's 5 to 10. But the Ukrainians have a significant advantage since the air battles are mostly in their territory, under their control, and within the control of their AA defenses. According to Ukraine's Air Force speaker Yuri Ignat, their tactic is to direct enemies into areas where Ukrainian AA are operational. So Ukraine had only 55 active fighters, and that number is constantly shrinking because they're either shot down, get broken, or can't sustain so many flights. Meanwhile, Russia has multitudes more planes than Ukraine does. Slovakia and Poland are expected to loan Ukraine MiG-29s that Ukrainians can fly with minimal additional training. However, these deliveries haven't been made yet. Ukraine is also using drones, but not to control the sky. They include the Turkish Bayraktars, which destroy ground targets like tanks and artillery, but aren't designed to hit aerial targets. But despite the numerical superiority of Russian planes, Ukrainian pilots in their MiG-29s and Su-27s are bravely fighting and defeating their enemy in the air. Thanks to the success of Ukrainian pilots, we have been able to protect Ukrainian soldiers on land and hold off more widespread bombing of our cities, since our pilots have intercepted many Russian winged missiles, wrote the New York Times. The publication used Dave Deptula's words. He said that Ukrainian pilots are using their equipment to their limits, and their impressive productivity is helping to compensate for their small number. It's hard to find a person who hasn't heard of the legendary Ghost of Kiev. Of course, it's a conglomerate of Ukrainian pilots who have used their skill to keep air superiority out of enemy hands. Well, that's all for today. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, leave me a comment, tell me what you learned today, and we'll see you again next time.